and I'm just gonna compare the lights. Let's turn it on. Right, let's turn it on. So look, let's go back to my bedroom, right? Dark. Eh. I mean, it's good. Little TRLR7 sub is good. You can still see the bright, the brightness in it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Dark. And it's good. You could see it. But you get this bad boy out. Dark. Damn! <laughs> this is going to wake your ass up in the middle of the night, let me tell you. Woo-wee! Finesse gang. What's up, guys? Excuse me. I'm eating probably my favorite candy in the world right now. The, uh, you know the nerds wrote, but now that I got the little clusters, you know, little clusters, they're even better. So, but anyway, what's up, guys? Yo, look, I got the TLR, um, the TLR1 HL, um, excuse me, from my Smith & Wesson 5.7. And um, I'm going to put it together with you guys. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to open the box together. We're going to install it. We're going to see how it looks on the gun. Go over a couple things today. So shit's supposed to be looking hot on there. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, th I think I got the right size light for the, you know, such a full size gun like that. So let me, uh, let's, let, let me get everything all together right now. We're going to jump right into it. But I'm glad to be back for another video with you guys. It's been a few days, and we're gonna get right into it now. So let's go, y'all. All right, guys, so here we go. We got my 5.7, it is all clear. Make sure it's clear. We got the TLR1 HL. Let's open it up, right? Let's open this thing up right now, all right? Get a better view of everything. And uh, matter of fact, let me bring you guys in so we can all do this a little closer, all right? There go. Here's the Smith & Wesson 5.7. You guys have seen it a few times on my channel already, right? Most beautiful 5.7 I think there is out. Yes, is better than the FN, I think, 100%. I don't care what anybody says, whatever, okay? Even down to the snappiness and click of the crispiness of that trigger all right but that's not that type of video today here it is the tlr1 hl and let me tell you something um i didn't know it was gonna be this big i mean for the full-size handgun i think it's gonna be great absolutely but damn i mean i'm used to the tlr7 sub for my 43x this thing is shit it's tw it's twice the size you know what I mean? This thing is twice the size. So, with that being said, okay, yeah, here's the magazine. Let's keep that out of the way, right? Let's get the batteries. We'll do a little bit of this, and let's get this open. All right, let's see how this works. Let's see how to get this open here. So, I'm thinking here's a flap. That's probably how you turn it on. And now I'm doing all this without looking at the directions, okay? So let's see. Oh, oh, okay, we got something. We got something. We got something here. No, oh, I'll close it back up. Let's see, down, out. Let's see, there we go. Open it up like that. And let's see, the plus is gonna be on the outside. Okay. Now, let's close it. Okay, oh yeah, it's definitely on then, okay.
Just like that. Just like that. Hold it. There we go. Yep. It's funny, the TLR7 sub, you actually gotta unscrew the light bulb itself and it goes in that way. Okay, let's see, let's loosen it up all the way. It's good. Um, do they give us anything to tighten it? No, they give us nothing to tighten it. All right, let me just get a, let me get like a nickel or something so I can put it on and make it tighter. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna be good now. Okay, let's see how this works now. So I'm assuming, okay, up is, wow. Yeah, no, 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 this is, this is 50 times brighter than, woo! 50 times brighter than my TLR7 sub. And then down, oh, down doesn't stay. It's just probably just like a quick, oh, oh, they got the strobe. Okay, baby, so down, one down is like quick and then two down is strobe. Figured that out pretty quick and then up is on automatically. All right, cool. Now, for the actual gun itself, Let's get it on. Let's see how we do. Like I said, guys, everything is safe. Here are the blue tips. Some of my favorite bullets in the world. 5.7. All right, let's see how we can get this on now. All right, I don't want it. See, now, I don't want the actual, like, um, you know, like the points here to turn the, the light on. I don't want them too far into the the uh, trigger guard. I like them just about like right there so they're not in my way. So if we can do something like that, here's where it's gonna go into the grooves. So if I do the second one, will it be in my way? No, I think the second one is good. Let's try that. Let's try that, what do you guys think? Is it too much? No, I think it's... I think it's just perfect, actually. I think it's actually just perfect. Let's try, let's see. Let's not tighten it too much, just in case I don't like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like that sugar. I don't know if I like that. I might be too, it's too far into the trigger groove right here. Excuse me, to the trigger frame. I don't know if I like that. Damn. All right, let's undo it now. That works. Let's see how that works. Now, I don't know if that's too far away. <laughs> Is it too far away? I could slide it back a little bit like that. Let's see. I think that's too far away still. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I don't know if I like that, guys. What do you think? All right, let's try it one more time. I want it to get to about right there. That's still, I can almost fit like a little bit of my pinky in there a little bit. If you could see, I could fit a little bit in there. It's a little too far away. All right, let's try it one more time. Okay, there it is. We got it. 
I found it now. I found it now. Damn. That is hot. That is hot. Ooh, baby. That is hot. All right, let me show you guys. This is something nasty. Damn, look at the brightness on this thing. It can literally light up the whole house. Light up the whole house, look. Here's my room, dark, right? Oh my God, oh shit. It lights the whole room up. It was literally just dark. baby oh yeah this is something special huh look at this look at this oh my god guys look at that I had a bright light right there and it's big and it fits that and it fits the gun perfect because it's such a full-size handgun you know it literally fits the gun so perfect it's not in the way really anymore I could really just squeeze my finger in there good it pretty much just is flush. It sticks a tad bit into the trigger guard, but I mean, what are you gonna do? That's really not bad at all. I love this gun, guys. I really do. I love this gun, man. This gun is so special to me. And you know, my 43X is, you know, my everyday carry, but this is my bedside gun right here, man. I don't care what anybody says. If someone's in my house, man, and I'm in my bedroom, and I hear them coming in. Psh, I'm shooting right through the door. I'm not giving myself or them any time to come into my house to try to kill me or my girlfriend or my loved ones. Forget it. If I hear them rushing in my house, man, I'm shooting right through the door. And I know for a fact that this little guy right here, the penetration on these guys right here, man, they will get the job done. Hollows is great, better stopping power for 9mm. Yeah, I get it. But you know what? I want something to go through the freaking wall if I need to. If I'm hiding and I need to shoot through the wall to get the job done, I know this is going to get the job done. All right, so here are both my guns. And I'm just going to compare the lights. Let's turn it on. Right? Let's turn it on. So look, let's go back to my bedroom, right? Dark. Eh. I mean, it's good. Little TRLR7 sub is good. You can still see the bright, the brightness in it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Dark. And eh, it's good. You could see it. But you get this bad boy out. Dark. Damn! <laughs> This is gonna wake your ass up in the middle of the night, let me tell you. Woo wee! Oh my god, man. The difference in between lights is just amazing. I mean, this is also so much smaller of a light. It really is. It's it's so much smaller. Look how much bigger this is. Look how much bigger this light is compared to this one. So much bigger. So, so, so much bigger. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, man. This is there great. Is. My M&P Smith & Wesson 5.7 with the TLR1 HL. Absolutely beautiful. Right? All good. We're going to put it all back together. And this is my baby right now. This is what I keep in the house. This is what I keep by my bedside. God forbid anybody ever comes through that door, man. I swear on everything, they're gonna wish they never did. They're gonna wish they never, never, never did. I'm pretty much shooting a little 223 out of a handgun. You know what I'm saying? And as far as my Glock 43X, this will always be my baby. You know what I'm saying? It's what I carry every day on me. So now, you know? We got the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? But you guys, listen, thank you so much for tuning in again today. 
This is just the light I got for this gun. You know what I'm saying? We'll put this one to the side for now because it's not about this no more. We had enough videos on that, I think, as of right now. For now, at least. Um, I'm going to show you guys my holster. Um, I possibly might get an optic for it since I will just have it in the house. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But um, then again, I uh, will have some more things coming for this uh, 5.7. And I hope you guys tune in. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers in only about four months, which means the absolute world to me. I'm so happy you guys are all tuning in. I'm happy you guys like the um, videos I'm putting out. Please, please, please like and subscribe. Let's keep it going. The more you guys keep it going, the more I can keep it going for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So um, I hope you liked the video. I hope the installation was easy. If anyone ever did want to get a TLR1 HL, there it is, you know? Um, I hope the installation was, you know what I'm saying? Um, easy enough that I uh, described it easy for you guys. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Like I said, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, guys. Thank you.